today I am back again with another haul for you guys. It is from the new MAC collection called the Reviting and the, dang it, the, the Mineralized Foundation SPF 15 that they came out with, the cream ones. So, um, online it came out about two days ago, two to three days ago, and in the stores it just came out um, today, the 18th. And I wanted to show you guys what I got from both collection because they were they were not I mean they're just small collections. I only got a few things, not a lot, not like the color, the spring color ones. That was a big collection for me. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got, and I hope you guys like it. And that and aside from that, I'm gonna do another video from what I got from um. Sephora and other Mac but not in this collection but I'm gonna do another part for that so from this collection I got like six items only I think I only got and I am wearing their collection right now the foundation I'm wearing the foundation which is the the new ones I'm wearing the I'm wearing their foundation right now and the lipstick and the blush so hope you guys like it but I'm just wearing for my eyeshadows just wearing um, texture and espresso and motif um, that's it and an eyeliner and smoky lash mascara so I hope Mac just released ain't that a B you know they just released about two weeks ago and now they're releasing another one and another two weeks they're gonna release another one which is the two fabulous collection which is on March 4 and um, but overall I do love Mac I got a mineralized foundation and it is in NC 30 this foundation is amazing it is amazing. I have it on right now. Look how flawless it made my skin look. I don't know, but I do love foundation a lot. I think it's a perfect canvas for every makeup. I mean, if you have, if you don't have the perfect foundation, your makeup will just look like a mess if you don't have a perfect foundation. The makeup artist matched me with NC25. Now, I don't want to look... Now, I already look light as I am already. In real life, I do... I mean, it's, it's, I guess it's because it's winter time. I do look light, but... I, so, I got it in NC30. It's a perfect color match for me. And... Now this foundation is a, a cream foundation, okay, and it gives you, how do you say this, a flawless finish, it gives you a flawless medium to buildable coverage, and it's supposed to, it says it's supposed to revitalize your skin, you know, if you have good for, um, it's, it's supposed to be good for all skin types. And I am I am in a combination oily skin and so far it looks good it, I wore this for I think about um, let's see three hours now four hours it's already 10 o'clock and I wore it yeah like four hours already and it looks good it still looks it looks flawless see it looks really flawless the packaging is comparable to the studio tech which is this one I have it also in NC30 so I do love studio tech it's it's to me it's medium coverage and medium to be buildable coverage but that's another whole story that is just to me that you can't feel that this foundation is thick it's lightweight and it's it's I don't know. I, I guess you could say it gives you this really it's it hydrates your skin. You know, and if you have if you have um 
dry areas it hydrates that part of the face so the good thing about this is it has SPF 15 so you know have white cast in, in pictures so be careful with this but when I took pictures today it it looks good it looks okay it looks it looks flawless that's all I have to say it looks very flawless there's nothing I don't, I don't know I can't really do a full review on it because I've just worn it just a couple of hours but so far it looks it looks really nice and um but I might do a full review sometimes soon maybe in two weeks and I'll do a comparable to this one but if I were to pick like right now if I were to pick which one I want studio tech or the mineralized SPF foundation I would probably pick you know just for today uh, for, I would probably pick the the mineralized one compared to the studio tech I don't know about in a, in like in about a week or so I don't know maybe I don't know maybe it'll, I'll change my mind but for now this foundation is phenomenal this one this one I love it I love 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 it and came up with a new brush now this is my new love oh my gosh this this is my new love right now the 131 I put on foundation today and I used this brush uh, it's still wet because I just washed it and what you do is this brush is amazing this brush is retails for $38 and is a fiber a duo fiber brush flat top brush a deal for um, cream foundation and you know you could use its powder application also out of natural bristles and synthetic fibers it's really good and this brush I don't well I do love my 109 don't get me wrong I do but sometimes the 109 sheds they do sheds like shit they do shed sorry I just have to say that because they do um, the one and the 109 sheds like crazy so when I put it on I have like hairs all over and I gotta pick it out and I hate that but this this the 130 brush is absolutely amazing okay if you love if you love the the 187 brush if you love this brush you will love this even more look 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 look, look. because if these two have a baby if these it would be this <laughs> see that if you love these two oh sorry if you love these two you love this even more and all I had to do was just tap and then just tap it on my skin and I didn't really have to swirl a lot you know how you have to do with this you kind of have to swirl and you're gonna you have to really work hard for it to work because you know it, it might not look blended all together but with this brush all I had to do was tap tap and then I got the full fuchsia blush really pigmented isn't it right it's really pigmented yeah and when I put it on earlier today I asked I accidentally made made it too heavy on my cheeks and because I applied it with my 109 because it was the only brush I saw was clean so I put this on and it made it look so super bright so I had to shear it down with the powder I bought their Show Orchid lipstick. This is a pro product color. You can get this at 80 pro stores, but I just got it today because I've never really was into this color before. I'm wearing it just for the sake of this collection. I'm wearing it right now. A very opaque um, color payoff and very creamy very very creamy pigmented and along with that color I got the true babe lip gloss I have it on also on top I have it on also on top. last I have the nail lacquer nail lacquer in studded might go try it out it's it's a matte finish that's what it says um 
thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.